It'll pull a plough. It'll clear a minefield. You can drive up to Buckingham Palace. It has to have superb off-road capability. We are a chemical company, but at heart we're a manufacturing company. If we can produce a vehicle which looks cool, retains that off-road ability, not homogenised jelly mould SUV, I think we can deliver that. The main reason for launching the vehicle is because we believe there's now a gap in the market. The, the SUV market has become very much SUV and not UV, not utility vehicle, more than a sport. So we believe there's an opportunity for someone to go back to basics and produce an uncompromising 4x4 vehicle that's sole purpose in life is to do a job. We believe we're going to produce something that is fantastically well engineered. We're partnering up with the best engineering companies and the best component suppliers all around Europe and we're going to be building that plant in Wales, in Bridge End, to make it a really great vehicle. The qualities we really hope for in the Grenadier are a vehicle that is effectively built on purpose. That's the phrase we're using, built on purpose. It's built to be a simple, as simple a vehicle as we can make it. And we'll use the best, latest technology, but it will not be bristling with technology. We're using technology, if it works, to do that job. Well, the new plant at Bridge End, simply put, is going to be the home of the Grenadier. Part of this £600 million investment will be an investment in a from scratch new plant in Bridge End, where the assembly of this vehicle will take place. We're going to have components coming from all around the world descending on Bridge End, where we will have a very highly skilled workforce who will put together a vehicle to the very highest standards. So not only will it have a manufacturing capability, it will also have test tracks, it will have showrooms, so people can come to the home of the Grenadier and see what it is we've produced. We are, as best we're able, going to keep it as simple as possible so that you can repair it in the field. There is a you know, very serious hole that's been left in the marketplace. We're just going to plug that gap again. We get a remarkable number of emails and communications from people supporting the project from all over the world. Farmer's car, the explorer's car, the scientist car, the Africa car. No frills, uncompromising, off-road, 4x4, which you can hose down, outside and in.